Good morning, zoo experts. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. How was your virtual field trip to the San Diego Zoo? I hope you had a restful, fun day. Today, we'll learn about spider webs and how they're made. We love you. Love your teachers. Today, our learning focus is on spider webs. At the end of our story, your activity will be to choose two activities from the spider web choice board and complete those today. Have fun with this. Let's start off with some fun facts about spiders and spider webs. All spiders that build webs are born to spin. Their parents don't even need to teach them how. It takes about 60 minutes to spin a web. That's about how long we spend doing math together each day when we're in school. Some spiders eat their old web before starting a new one. Others roll the old web up and throw it away. Web spiders rebuild their web every day. Here's some information on silk. All spiders have glands called spinnerets that produce silk. Spiders use silk for a variety of different purposes, climbing to build egg sacs to protect their eggs, to wrap prey, and to capture prey. Information on spider webs. Elaborate or fancy spider webs we usually see are used to catch prey. Insects and other animals stick to the silk of these webs and are captured for the spider to eat. Because many spiders don't have very good eyesight, the vibrations alert them to where and when prey gets caught. These are the most common spider web shapes. In the first picture, you see a funnel spider web. Next is an orb spider web. The middle picture is a tangled spider web, otherwise known as a cobweb. Then you'll see a triangle version and something called a sheet. That's a tangled up big spider web. Let's go ahead and get started on reading our story. This one is called How Spiders Hunt. This is a 1R reader, so people like Bray Lynn will be working to figure out new three-syllable words using the basic chunks of each word, common endings, three-letter blends, and what makes sense. Remember, that's always important when you're reading to think about what makes sense. Here's the table of contents where I could jump ahead to something that I particularly wanted to learn about. Hunting spiders. There are many different kinds of spiders living all over the world. All spiders are hunters. Many spiders hunt with webs like this, but not all. Some spiders hunt in other ways. They set traps, make nets, jump on their prey, or even fish. Weaving webs. All spiders can make silk. Silk comes from parts of spiders' bodies called spinnerets. Different kinds of spiders use their silk to weave different kinds of webs. These webs work to catch spiders' prey. Most spiders that weave webs put them where prey might fly or walk. When a bug or a small animal touches the web, the spider feels the thread of silk shake. It runs to the prey and wraps it in more silk so it can't get away. Down below, there's the giant golden orb weaver spider spins the largest web. The spider is four inches long and its web can be three feet across. Wow. The net casting spider has a different way to trap bugs with its silk. It weaves a web between its four front legs. Then it hangs from a plant and waits. When a bug walks under its hiding spot, the spider stretches the web and it goes all over the bug. The bug can't escape. Setting traps. Not all spiders make webs to catch food. Trap door spiders dig holes in the dirt called burrows. At the top of a burrow, they build a small door from silk, plants, and dirt. Then they cover the door with more plants and dirt to hide it. The trap door spider is nocturnal. That means it hunts at night. When night comes, the spider holds onto the inside of the door with some of its feet. It can feel the door vibrate when this mouse walks on it. 
The spider springs out of its burrow and grabs the mouse. It drags the mouse into its burrow and shuts the door. Wow, that's awesome. Jumping on prey. Many spiders can't see well. They depend on feeling their webs or traps to make shake to catch prey. Jumping spiders have excellent eyesight. They can hunt without webs. Jumping spiders sneak up on bugs or wait for bugs to come close. When they attack, these spiders move so rapidly that bugs can't see them in time to get away. Fishing for food. While most spiders only hunt on land, one kind of spider can hunt both on land and in the water. This is the fishing spider. Fishing spiders can go underwater for up to 30 minutes. They get air from bubbles that get stuck in the thick hairs on their bodies. They grab small fish and tadpoles that swim too close. They can also run across the top of the water and grab bugs. When a spider catches something to eat, it bites its prey with its big front teeth called fangs. There is a liquid in a spider's fangs called venom that goes into the animal and kills it. Wow, that's how they do their eating. Many people believe that spiders suck the blood out of their prey after killing it, but they don't. The spider vomits on the dead bug. Ew! The vomit makes the bug meat softer so the spider can chew it. The spider vomits and chews many times as it eats the bug. When the spider is done eating, the bug is just an empty shell. Spiders are excellent hunters. From webs to traps to sneak attacks, they're always ready to catch their next meal. One spider can eat about 2,000 bugs in one year. Here's the anatomy of a spider. There's all those different body parts. And the glossary helps us with words that maybe we weren't sure of or what they mean. We also have an index and some extra resources. I thought that was a fun story. <laughs>
So again, have fun with this one. I tried to give you a bunch of different options so that you can decide what you want to do today about spider webs. Before we part, let's practice our S blends and that one T blend too. Remember, I'll say the blend and the sound that it makes, and then you can echo me. Here we go. S, C, S, K. Good job. S, K, S, K, like skunk. S, M, Sm, like s'more. S N Sn like snake. S P Sp spider. S T St star. S W Sw swing. T W Tw twister. Nice job. Every day you see this at the end of our videos. I will be on Zoom tonight from 8 o'clock until 8.20 reading you a fun bedtime story. I hope you can meet me there. I miss you.